AutoTrax is a PCB design program that currently works on Microsoft Windows. Up to now, there has been no version that will run on Apple products unless you use programs like Parallels which will run Windows on an Apple machine running Mac OS. However, the good news is that there is a version of AutoTrax that runs on Apple iPhones, Apple iPads, Apple laptops, and Apple desktop machines. In this tutorial video, I will show you a preview of the new AutoTrax iOS app running on a 2021 Apple iPad Pro. So, let's get to the exciting part and start up AutoTrax on an iPad. This version is a read-only version and currently does not display the 3D model for the PCB, however, in the coming weeks the full 3D model will be displayed. The read-only version is completely free and allows you to distribute your designs to others and provide a free viewer. They do not need to obtain the full version of AutoTrax, and this version is extremely easy to use. Here is the empty screen for my iPad. At the top left corner is the icon for the AutoTrax iOS application. I have moved all my other application icons to other screens to simplify things. Tapping on the AutoTrax icon starts up the AutoTrax iOS app. What you are now seeing is the first experimental version of the AutoTrax iOS app. It comes with four sample projects. The first one is the Dex Arduino project. Here we see the PCB design. I will move around the PCB by using a couple of iPad gestures. The first one is the drag gesture, where I hold down my finger on the screen and then drag my finger to pan the view. The second gesture is a zoom in and out gesture. This is accomplished by pressing two fingers down on the screen and either closing the two fingers together to zoom out or expanding the two fingers to zoom in. Notice as I pan and zoom, the control buttons at the top of the view are automatically hidden from view and automatically reappear when I remove my fingers from the screen. As I pan and zoom around the PCB, you will notice it is extremely fast. At the top right of the screen, you can see the frame rate which is astonishingly fast. I will now display the schematic for this PCB by clicking on the PCB button at the top. Now we see the schematic. Again, I will pan and zoom around the schematic using finger gestures. As shown by the display frame rate in the top right. You can see that the frames per second is even faster than the PCB frames per second. Returning to the PCB view, I will show you the settings panel. Clicking on the settings panel button at the top displays the settings panel. For the PCB, there are two settings tabs. The first one for layers, and the second one for showing and hiding items. I will now show you some of the layers being turned on and off. Next using the Show tab, I can change what is displayed on the PCB. I will now show you the other samples that are available in the AutoTrax iOS app. The second sample is the amplifier project that is included with AutoTrax. This is the PCB. And this is the schematic. The third sample is the Serial Backpack project that is included with AutoTrax. This is the PCB. And this is the schematic. Last, but not least, is a small project. This is the PCB. And this is the schematic. As you have seen, the user interface is amazingly simple and extremely easy to use.
Clicking on the About button displays the About dialog giving information about the version of this application. Clicking on the Books button displays the online manual for the Autotrax iOS app and gives you updates of changes made. There will be many changes and improvements to the app in the coming days and weeks. I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this video channel so you can see more video updates and tutorials on using the Autotrax iOS app. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate your support in developing Autotrax. You can view the other PCB design tutorials, there are over 200 of them, on the Autotrax YouTube channel. So as a final reminder, Click on the subscribe button below to be kept up to date on the exciting changes that are coming fast and furious.